Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today is December 27th. It's 57 degrees, unseasonably warm. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to wrap your fig tree and give it winter protection. This is my brown fig. I've had this for over 10 years and for the first six, seven years it, it has done really well. Comes back in the spring, no freeze out, no damage, I get figs. However, for the last three years, I've had this problem where the temperatures here in Maryland Zone 7 have been getting down to the teens and single digits, but maintaining that for seven to 10 days. That's just too much freeze for this fig plant. And what happens is these branches, all the branches that you see freeze through and die. The root system doesn't freeze out here, again in Maryland Zone 7. So I get all these new branches that come up, but by the time the figs start producing, you see some up there, Fall comes, the leaves fall off, and I don't get mature figs. So I'm going to have to wrap this. Two tips. If you decide to grow figs in your area, look for the most cold tolerant variety that you can find. And most figs can handle 25 degree nights, 20 degree nights, if it's like a night or two. But when you get into 10 days of just freezing temperatures below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, the branches are going to freeze out. If the root systems don't freeze out, all you're going to do is keep getting new branches growing and new leaves. You're not going to get figs, so you have to wrap it. So get a cold tolerant variety and plant this on the south facing side of your house or where you get the most sun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out all the dead branches, cut back some of the living branches, you know, just select the ones that I want to maintain over the winter. And then I'll come back and I'm going to show you what I wrap this in and how I wrap it. Here's what my fig tree looks like before I prune it out. I thought I'd give you a before and after. It's soft wood, so it's real easy to cut. You just need a pair of basic clippers and that will do the trick. You want to get in there, take out any dead wood. I have some old wood in there. You can see the dead wood just snaps. The green wood is extremely flexible. But you want to get in, cut out any branches that are crossing like that. Thin it out so sunlight can get into there. And basically I'm just shaping this for it to fit in this corner. I'm going to take away a lot of the branches on the outside so they're not going through the fence and not going up the side of the this house. This is what I cut out of the fig tree. A lot of dead wood, first year branches, second year branches, third year branches. Just thinned it out and mostly cut the branches from the outer part of the fig tree um, away so that when I go to wrap this I can pull it all together pretty easily. The shears couldn't cut some of the thicker wood down at the bottom so I'm going to have to cut that out with the saw. But I want to show you how flexible these branches are. We're just going to pull these and I'll show you how I do it, but they can all really flex. So I'm going to pull these together tightly and tie them into a column and then we'll get to wrapping the fig tree. The supplies you're going to need is a clothesline. It's nice and strong. I recommend using that. I don't know, that was 100 feet, about 8 bucks. You're going to need burlap, a painter's cloth. The painter's cloth was $2, the burlap was like $12, some duct tape about eight bucks. Now you don't necessarily need bubble wrap in Maryland zone seven, but if you're in colder zones, you're going to want another layer of insulation. But I'm gonna use a bubble wrap anyway. I'll show you how to do that. And then on top of all this, there's gonna be a black tarp that goes on, which I don't have now, but they're like six or eight dollars. When you go to tie it, if your fig tree is kind of large like mine, don't wrestle with getting one piece of rope all the way around the bottom there and then trying to tie it really tight. Just grab a bunch first. They're extremely flexible. Pull them together tightly. Tie one bunch together. I'm going to tie a second bunch together and I'm going to show you what it looks like done all the way tied up and then we'll start putting on the layers of protection. All right, the fig tree is tied up. It should look something like that. And when you get to the top, you want it to come to a point. I had to cut some of the top branches off because they were sticking out too far you know, past the uh, rope, but you want something pointed just like that. If you're in a colder zone, like I know that my root systems don't freeze, you could fill in a bunch of leaves right now into the bottom and really put a nice layer of leaves down before you put the burlap on. Gonna get to the burlap. This piece of burlap is 24 feet long, three feet wide in case you want to judge the size that you'll need for your fig tree. When you start it off, start the burlap up high, tie it off just like that. That'll save you a big headache of the burlap. Um, will keep falling if you don't tie it down. But once you tie it, you can just wrap it all the way down and you're not gonna have any problem. When you get to the bottom, hopefully you have a little bit extra, try and do two wraps. You really wanna seal the bottom off so wind doesn't blow under there. Cause you're trying to create a microclimate really where wind can't get into here, blow the warmth away. And when the day sun comes, warms up the black tarp or the black plastic, it stays warm. So of course I ran out of burlap, but you wanna make sure you get enough. This was, like I said, about 25 feet. So I probably needed 40 feet. 
To really overlap it so there's no gaps, use the rope to tie the burlap down so that the gaps stay closed. And then when you get to the bottom, you want at least two wraps to really seal, seal the bottom off. And I'll just make up for that. When I put the plastic around it, I'll just bunch some more down at the bottom. And then when the tarp goes on, I'll take care of the bottom. But the bottom wants to be, you want to make it sealed so that the wind doesn't blow underneath of there and pull out any of the warm air that may be in there or bring in any cold air. So this is really a two person project if you don't want to get frustrated, but you can do it with one person. When you put the plastic on, just open it up, have some duct tape already uh, peeled off and stick into your arm or something and just start at the top again. Duct tape the top and then I'm going to overlap it at the bottom and again I have plenty of room to leave the excess plastic at the bottom to keep that wind from blowing under. So here's the painter cloth around the entire fig tree. It's a 9 foot by 12 foot painter's tarp and it was only $1.98 and I was able to wrap it around there uh, three times actually and that's plenty of plastic. I'm not even going to put on the bubble wrap here in Maryland Zone 7 but if you are up two zones or in a colder zone the bubble wrap really does put a nice extra layer of insulation on, insulation on there if you need it and you can see that I left plenty of plastic. Make sure you go down and you rope it off nice and tightly at the bottom so that the wind just doesn't blow that up but I tied the plastic down. I got um, almost three wraps of the plastic all the way around here. So now I'm going to put on the black tarp and that will be it. And you might notice too that I'm leaving the top open. You want to do that. I'm going to show you how to take care of that at the end. So here is the finished product. I wrapped the fig tree in black tarp. I decided to put leaves around the bottom, seal that off even more. The warm earth will, you know, bring up some of the temperature into the black plastic there, into the wrappings, keep that microclimate warmer than the outside temperature. On top, I put a five gallon bucket. You could put a trash bag over there if you wanted to, if you don't have a five gallon bucket. But that basically seals the top off. But if it gets to high temperatures, like today it was 66 degrees, you're going to want to take off that top and just let the fig tree vent out through the top. But for January and February, you want to, go to, you want to close the top either with a five gallon bucket or with a big trash bag. Just pull it down over it. If you smoke your meats, by chance, if you like to barbecue, figwood makes an excellent wood for smoking. It burns quickly, but if you soak it, it will smoke and it really imparts a delicious flavor into smoked meats. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.